Hello everyone, this is Super Comic Girl. I am back with another video. I do, I'm doing a lot of videos this week. A lot of videos. Um, you know, with, uh, you know, with doing like reviews of comic books that I bought back in July and August and September. I know that, I'm going to tell you something, that big haul that I did back at the like beginning of August, that was like at least three hundred dollars worth of comics and i did not tell you guys how much it was like three hundred three hundred fifty dollars worth of comic books that was totally insane so i have i have a lot of comics to read and enjoy and everything and um you know it's winter time and all that type of stuff. Even though I'm wearing a short sleeve, it's comfortable inside, so I'm very happy about that. Um, but yeah, so a lot of comics. Uh, I actually, <laughs> my brother did not have that day off, and um, and he has like no idea how many how many comics that I bought and are currently stored. So it's a it's a lot of comics, but thankfully I got through. I'm thankfully I'm through most of the comics that I did buy. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing a review of Moon Knight issue number ten, and it looks like he's it looks like he's being covered in clay, which is definitely a indication of the adversary that he's going to be face he's faced in this particular issue. So, um, one of the things that I really did like about it is, as always, the illustration. And also, I want to add the uh, pace of the story and everything. It just seems like I don't really encounter too many really bad issues of Moon Knight. They're all really good, and I really did, in fact, enjoy this issue. So, we're introduced to an adversary called, um, what's it, um, um, let me just hear, um, what's it, uh, Waxman. His name is Waxman. He is like, uh, he's like, he's definitely, you, you can definitely tell that he has uh, Clayface's abilities, the ability to like mimic other people. Um, I, like I said, I, re I really thought this was interesting to have another character in the DC universe. Well, the Marvel universe, sorry. Uh, let me rephrase that. So, so I just realized I'm not talking about DC. I'm talking about Marvel. Oh my lordies, my brain is not operating today. Uh, so anyway, so um, so Wa so Waxman. That's what it, he is called. Uh, Waxman. Um, yeah, Waxman. So Waxman. So to correct my mistake, Waxman is. I firmly believe is exactly the same as DC's Clayface. He has the ability to look like anything that he wants. He was pretending to be this Moon Knight's psychiatrist. Um, I think there was a reason why he appears like that. Because he knows something's in there. So, like I said, uh, this is a really great issue. Uh, the introduction of basically Marvel's equivalent of Clayface was excellent. I really like it. I'm not really upset when characters either look similar to another comic book universe or like Marvel. There's a character in Marvel looks like a character in DC. I'm not upset about that at all. What I am upset about is sloppy storytelling. This was great. I just, I loved it. It was great. <laughs> um, so I give this five golden 
stars for how great it is. Uh, we do encounter the convict that escaped from Ravencroft prison. He actually joins the team, which I thought was really, really unusual, but I'm not complaining. So I am going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And tomorrow, tomorrow I will finally get around to doing the silver coin. I've got several issues that I bought over the course. Um, but yeah. So I am at some point during this year, I am going to actually start tackling that huge pile of comic books. I think the haul was haul number seven, and it was like a 30 minute video. So <laughs> Yeah, it was it was a lot of it was a lot of comics. So, um I will see you guys around until next time. Nerds read on. Bye.